Today in our 2017 Jeep Renegade, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Fullback 2 Trunk Mounted 2 Bike Rack. That's part number Y02436. So I've already got it loaded up on the Re Renegade, excuse me, with the Renegade and the bike, just to give you a good idea of what it looks like and how it's going to hold our bikes. In my opinion, I would say this is a premium bike rack. Reasons why. We've got a cable lock here at the end so we can secure our bikes. That way nobody can remove them from our bike rack. We've got a nice bottle opener here so we can have a drink with our buds at the end of our hard ride. We've also got soft cradles here. This is going to ensure that our bikes don't get damaged when they're seated on them. It also uses zip strips rather than a stretchable rubber strap that can deteriorate over time. And one final thing is it uses a wheel strap. This is going to prevent our bike's front wheel from uh, bumping back and forth on our other bike, our bike rack, or our Renegade. So going into how our bikes are secured, it uses two zip strips up top and one for our seat post tube. This one's going to help cut down on sway in our bike, cut down on bike to bike contact, bike to bike rack contact, excuse me, contact, and bike to vehicle contact. Let's go ahead and take our bike off though. It's a perfect time to show you how the zip strips work. Simply squeeze the two tabs on either side to pull them out. When you're ready to secure your bike, just push down. And they too are padded so they won't harm or scratch our bike. Go ahead and take them all off and remove our bike. Another nice feature about the cradles is that they do, the anti-sway does rotate to make it easier to load and unload our bikes. Depending on your bike, it may be more difficult, but with that folding up, it may be easier to get on. Now I like to replace these, that way I don't lose them. And let's grab a few measurements. So overall, we've added about 30 inches to our Renegade. The nice thing is, our arms fold down for compact storage. What you want to do is you want to come over here to this gray hub, rotate it up, and then fold it down until it locks into position. So this would be ideal for pulling your garage or in a tight parking spot. With those folded down, we are now at about nine and a half inches. So you can see how folding those down shaves some distance off the back. Now going into how our bike rack is secured to our Renegade. It actually uses four straps. We've got two straps up top, and then we've got two at the bottom. Now, the way the bottom ones secure is we use our rubber coated hooks here so they won't harm or scratch the finish. Those grab the bottom of our rear hatch. The top ones are a little bit different. Now I've got another strap here just to give you an example. Now there are two ways you can use the straps. You can use the hook, but for our Renegade, we need to use what's called the anchor mode. We take the end of the strap, we put it through, all the way through, and then with our rear hatch open, it actually drops down inside of our rear hatch. We close it, pull it up tight, and we run it through our buckle system. Now, we've got an upright here that's padded. You can see how it rests on our rear window. That way it doesn't harm or scratch or even break. At the bottom, it too is padded. You can see how it's resting here. I also like to point out that with everything in place, it does not cover up our license plate. Now, our windshield wiper, excuse me, windshield wiper, we will not be able to use. And one other thing I do not recommend is opening up your rear hatch with it installed. But with that being said, that's going to complete our test fit of the Yakima Fullback 2 uh, trunk mounted 2 bike rack, part number Y02436, on our 2017 Jeep Renegade. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. 
Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.